hello, hello, hello. Today we're back at a new restaurant in an old location. Right next to the W Bangkok Hotel sits a unique and elegant architecture turned into a Thai restaurant. This unique colonial style house from the 1800 has a long history from being a mansion to a hotel to an embassy and now to a restaurant. Pai serves Thai food in a cozy and warm ambience. Come along my friends, join us for this Thai dining experience. This meal starts with complimentary ships and Pai special sauce. I've had many versions of Tom Yam Kung. This one is one of the good ones. The soup is very flavorful, spicy with a tang. They're using large size river plon, therefore there's a lot of fat in the head. And that is the best part. Large size John Paul oysters. Serve with Pai special chili sauce. An interesting presentation, Razor Clam XO Sauce. This was the least favorite because the sauce overpowers the clam. We can only taste the sweetness of the sauce. Thai style eating is to have everything all at once and have it with rice. New Zealand mussels cooked in Thai herbs and white wine. The aroma, the texture, and the taste of the mussel is very appealing. This is a surprise and one of the best dish here. Cabbage in fish sauce. The aroma of burnt cabbage with pungent fish sauce and garlic is simply irresistible. Beef with Southern Thai curry. Alone by itself, this is a good dish, but the spicy level and the intense flavor is a big jump compared to the other dishes. Lakapong Lui Suan, sea bass in spicy lap sauce and banana flour. The fish is deboned and perfectly fried to the point you can eat almost everything, including the head. For dessert, we had Thai tea tiramisu. Like tiramisu, instead of the espresso, it uses Thai tea. And the dessert to end this beautiful evening at Pai is an impressive one. Coconut sundae, a mixture of ice cream, fruits, Thai sweets, all into one fun bowl. This dessert, in some ways, summarizes Thai food. A mixture of texture, flavors, all together for sharing. To summarize, Pai is one of the place in the Saton area to bring people you want to impress to. That being said, it is pricier than other places. Three menus that I can recommend that will not disappoint is the Tom Yam Kung River Prawn, the Cabbage and Fish Sauce, and the Coconut Sundae. Bangkok is the city of choices. There is always something going on and it's really hard to keep track. Next video, we will be taking you to another Thai dining experience where the chef is so creative, there is always a twist in every dish. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, and share. 
for more videos like this weekly.